Wolverine number one, 2020, written by Benjamin Percy, art by Victor Bogdanovic and Adam Kubert. Color artist is Frank Martin, design Tom Muller. Letterer is VCs Corey Petit, released February 19th, 2020, published by Marvel. The credits are odd here, but oh well, let's get started. This is my first current Marvel comic book. Can't go wrong with the classics and a fan favorite of Logan Howlett or Wolverine, depending on who you ask. And this is competent and forgettable. Let's talk about it. But before we do, don't forget to feed the algorithm, help this channel grow, and here we go black and white and color this book is colored well probably the best thing out of this book the art is competent enough it still lacks impact with the story but hey not much to say else about it i am giving it a star and that's mostly because of the coloring panels and expression the paneling is basic Lots of squares, lots of rectangles, plenty of decent pictures, don't get me wrong, but no overall flow. But then again, flow isn't something that the US comics is known for as far as their style goes. And this just doesn't have it. The action bits don't feel like they have that impact or punch. The lighthearted portions don't feel too happy, so... The frustration just mostly comes from me because I just don't like this kind of style. But because of that, I'm not going to give it a star. Also, the part that I begin to notice is the part that these comics were made to feel as if they were made on one big sheet of paper and then divided into two, made to fit on a paperback page. Well, that works well enough if you're going to view it in digital where you can see the whole paper all at once. But if you're going to read this in a comic book, I imagine it would be frustrating. Not a good thing character and dialogue well i didn't really feel lost in this we have wolverine being wolverine so not too much to add either that being said i also feel like i didn't get anywhere while reading this either like everything felt like some sort of exposition or was in narrative text boxes to help explain wolverine's thoughts and i think less of these things the better it is but that's just me i guess we can chalk it up to creative style all I know is I didn't really jive with it, so this gets a star. Bare minimum cleared the bar, in my opinion. Themes slash execution. Well, the theme for this, it feels like a detective case. So anything involving those kind of stuff. We have it set in the mutant perceived utopia of Krakoa, and something is afoot and it's set up in an opening of a in medias rest somewhere cold and having snow something bad has happened and we need to find out but what feels like being dropped into a story right before the big climactic battle then jumping back to the beginning of our story i don't know if it worked for this this whole thing something is wrong and you know was the perfect place to set it up but i don't know why i don't like it in this comic I'm giving it a star, it sets up your detective themes. I don't think it was done well, but that's just me. Plot and execution. Um, something went wrong, we need to find out what it is. It involves drugs, and there's framing of certain characters, you know. This is a straight up mystery set in the Marvel Universe, with Wolverine as our gruff and lovable detective. And with 62 pages, we certainly have a lot of real estate to play with especially for a U.S. comic, um, but it felt both rushed and going nowhere at the same time, as I've stated before, something you don't want for a mystery comic. You want to feel the progression as the mystery unravels, and by the end of issue one, spoiler alert, or the end of this book, uh, we have vampires. If you like it, you like it. I didn't, but it hit the basics, so star, just nothing to write home about. Conclusion four stars of competence not enough to recommend in my own opinion but enough wiggle room that i would understand that if there are fans of this the issues within this issue were plenty full pages exposition just text explaining stuff 
like you would see in a school textbook, a detective story that didn't do much detecting, a cult that worships mutants and eats them, and then out of nowhere we have vampires. Why? Because it's vampires and it's Marvel and it's superhero comics, so therefore anything goes. And apparently Dracula is back again. And I'm pretty sure like he died a dozen times throughout the history of Marvel, but you know what? This is Marvel. Heck, anywhere you see in the US comics, you have to have vampires. You get Dracula. It's pretty much a cliche at this point. One of the biggest issues, again, haha, <laughs> pun, right? That I had with this book that it jumps all over the place way too much. A good detective story has to build up to the answer. We have this mysterious drug from a Krakoan plant. We have people dying all over the world from ancient versions of it. And we have vampires. And if you're saying that's what the mystery is, then you may not understand what a mystery story is. Mysteries should have a personal stake to it. Um, for example, if you take Sherlock Holmes, personal stake is that you know he wants to unravel the mystery because on some level he cares. In this case, what is Wolverine's personal stake in it? From what I can tell, Wolverine is kind of like the head of security for Krakoa, so he's in charge of unraveling it. But then again, why does he care? It isn't as if it's someone inside Krakoa is being affected. It's the mutants abroad, but that's not his job to go out and save them. And it's really hard to tell if it affects the mutants abroad as much. Like I said before, this jumps around way too much. Part of the story ends here, picks up over there, and if you're a new reader, I wouldn't be surprised if you're confused. And I imagine a Marvel reader would be confused too, especially if they were reading it regularly. Luckily, this was on Comixology, on sponsors, by the way, unlimited, so I didn't need to pay for it. And if I had to pay for it, four bucks digital or thirteen eighty nine paperback or even forty bucks hardcover, I would be hard pressed to say it was worth it. That being said, seven hundred ninety three people averaged out to five stars, so I may just be the nitpicking customer here. And I always said the. The only pop culture opinion that should matter is your own, and in my opinion, I am not recommending this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you are having a good day or a good evening. Make sure you do the YouTube algorithm y thing so that the algorithm can recommend me to everybody else, and I hope you are having a good day or a good evening. Ciao, everybody.